talking about now is the, the destruction of habitat. And then number two, we are also looking at effect of economy, where people looking for easy money by selling animal parts. Mostly the animal that we have here, either confiscated, um, surrendered by the public, or rescued from human-animal conflict. So we are talking about worldwide problem. At Ape Malaysia, what we're trying to do is we try to change the way people look at animals uh, so that they are uh, more compassionate and thinking about a bigger picture. What we do is that we give social enterprise grants to social enterprises in ASEAN uh, that show innovativeness and we will help them grow their businesses. Asia has been uh, supporting us uh, for our two projects. So one of the projects is uh, where we are making pet toys uh, using the commissioned fire hose and also Asia seatbelt. So we are not only working with you know, wild animals, so this product is one way for us to also uh, supplement our income. What Ape Malaysia has been doing for some years now, they've been using repurposed fire hoses from the fire rescue department to set up these enrichment tools for sanctuaries around the region. Animals in captivity need constant stimulation so that they didn't lose their natural instinct. So whatever that you do or give to them uh, in order to stimulate their senses is considered as wildlife enrichment. So the enrichment tools will help you to some extent here? Yeah, sure, because it will make them busy so they can use the enrichment tools made by you guys um, to explore right inside this enclosure. So our grant for Air Asia Foundation was for a one-year period but after that um, we were looking for something to do for our Air Asia team building activity and we wanted something meaningful as well. So it fit quite well with what Ip Malaysia was already doing with volunteers. So we started bringing groups of uh, Air Asia All-Stars to different sanctuaries around the region where we helped them equip uh, the sanctuaries with these enrichment tools. Okay, so so basically what we have over here is a fire hose hammock. We are building uh, one large one which we will uh, be giving out to uh, both the sun bears and also uh, the orangutans. Uh, so we'll be uh, using it as like a natural bedding for them within the enclosure. What are you guys up to now? We are making a lock sack. A lock sack? Yeah, okay. it's for elephants. Okay. It's used for their trunks exercise as well as they're used for their uh, kicking exercise. They would say like it's like a football. You want to try to lift it up? Let's try it. Yeah, it's really heavy. It's really heavy. Yeah, that's right. The fire hoses that we are using are all fire hoses that are already discarded from our fire department. Right. So we are trying to uh, upcycle it again. If not, it will be stuck in a landfill anyway. and it won't degrade. Yeah. So that's why it's much better to be able to uh, use it for these kind of purposes where the animals are benefiting from it, especially centres like this. Sounds good. When they came to us, they needed help to transport these materials as well. So it sort of worked very well together with our programme. We not only bring volunteers together, but we use our aircraft space to help them transport um, um, these fire hoses, which are very heavy. Working with organisations like Air Asia is the only way that allow us to do uh, something this big at this scale over two days like this with the support from Air Asia. In the immediate term, of course, I would really like to see more of these uh, tools being made available to sanctuaries that need it. We can also help animals, not just in Malaysia. Uh, because like I said, this is a worldwide problem. So working with AirAsia, we can travel to all these different destinations because all the centre that we go with AirAsia, they also need help. So I think that's the beauty of it. We live in a very biodiverse uh, region in the world and uh, the animals that we have are really majestic and beautiful. So it's very tempting for people who want to keep them as pets, but it's really very cruel practice. If you ever see an animal in the wild and you will see how sad it is when they are trapped in a very confined environment. So I really do hope that people will think more about this before they do anything like that, but also give funds, help out sanctuaries that really help rehabilitate animals that are rescued or confiscated from these purposes and then also help uh, spread the word that, you know, this shouldn't be something that you should condone. Um.